today's episode, we're going to be making a vine ripened tomato and mozzarella Napoleon splashed with extra virgin olive oil and sweet balsamic. We're also going to be making fried green tomatoes with a corn, lima bean, and crab succotash. So I'm going to go through and pick out a couple things here. We have in my garden, I have some jalapenos. We have here some beans growing. We still have some tomatoes. We have cucumbers on the vine here. We have basil in the back. I have jalapenos. I have sweet potatoes growing. Rutabagas growing for this fall. And uh, some cherry tomatoes and some bell peppers. So we're going to go through, see what we can get. I'll show you some things along the way to help you maybe help with your garden. Right here we have some beautiful cherry tomatoes. Everything in our garden is organic. We don't put any pesticides in it. We just kind of watch for bugs. I mean, the taste of a tomato like that just doesn't get any better. Great looking basil plant. Uh, just a beautiful smell. So you can see these on the vine right here. All you do is just take them and pick them right off. So we have some beautiful cucumbers. I think I'm going to put that in the succotash we make today. So that'll be a really good add on. So what we have here are some peppers, some banana peppers. You can see back here we have a nice Roma tomato plant growing. Here we'll pick a couple jalapenos. And I say we go now to the cutting board and we start doing some cooking. Okay, what we have here today, what we're going to do is something very, very simple. You're going to see that it's all straight out of the garden. Uh, we do have some fresh local claw meat that we get. Um, from some of our local crabbers. We have some mozzarella and we'll show you something that's just so easy to make and so good. All right, this is gonna be a tomato Napoleon and it's basically a caprese salad which is tomato, mozzarella, and basil. But we're gonna make it a little bit neater, a little bit more stylish. It's called a Napoleon because we're stacking it uh, to height. Of course, I guess it's a play on words because a Napoleon was not that tall. But all right, so what we're gonna do usually take the bottom off because you want this tomato to lay flat on the plate. We're going to cut a couple different slices. Okay. Now, with each layer, I like to give it a little salt, a little fresh crack, cracked pepper, then I'm going to lay one piece of mozzarella. Take some of that basil. Now you don't want to put too much basil on this. Basil is a very strong herb. So you really want to be kind of delicate with it. I just want to put one leaf. So you don't want to put four or five leaves on this. You just one leaf will be good. And then you put another thing of tomato, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. And then we're going to go high again. Another layer of mozzarella. Another basil. And then I end it with a little bit of a tomato on top. Now you could take it for garnish. I like to just take the whole thing of basil. Put that right in there. I want to take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to drizzle that. I like to get a nice bit on there. A little bit of a sweet balsamic. Then Fresh pepper, a little bit of salt. Now you can't beat that right there. So this is it. This is a Napoleon. Tomato basil caprese salad Napoleon. So very, very simple, straight out of the garden. You can't get any fresher than that. And I guarantee you this taste is out of this world. So we'll taste that here in just a second. Our next item is going to be a fried green tomato with a crab and lima bean succotash. So we're going to take a green tomato that we got out of the garden. You're just going to make sure that it's, uh, you know, this is a little bit reddish green. That's fine. The reason we want it green, it's nice and hard. 
All right, we're just gonna take this in a little bit of flour, a little bit of cornmeal, and now we have some hot grease here just to check the grease, make sure it's hot. You can see that that flour is frying up right there. Could do the water test as well. And then we're just going to lay that grease. Always when you are frying something and you put it in the pan, make sure you drop it away from you. So if the grease falls, it's gonna go that way, not towards you and burn you, okay? And we're just gonna do four tomatoes. Now watch your, uh, watch your grease temperature. You can always turn it down. Don't get too nervous and all of a sudden it gets too hot um, and it starts browning on the outside before it even starts cooking on the inside. You do wanna get these tomatoes a little soft on the inside and flip them. Always try to keep your area nice and neat. Now we're gonna take a rag here. So we have a place to take these tomatoes when they're done. Okay, we're gonna take that. Let those just drain. On a pan, you're gonna take a little bit of salt. When they just come out of that grease, because that grease is still a little uh, as moist before that shell gets on there, and then that salt will kind of melt right into the into the uh, green tomatoes. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of butter. Let that melt. And while that's melting, what I thought we'd do with these shows is maybe make a little bit of a, a cocktail or a wine spritzer or, you know, a good glass of wine with this. Um, because, you know, if you think about it with cooking, you always have a nice glass of wine usually when you eat. Um, it is good for your digestion. Also a uh, cocktail, they're always fun to make uh, with friends. So I thought I'd show you one that's really, really good on a hot summer day. What I'm going to do is just take a little bit of ice. I can open this. Take a little bit of ice, a little bit of vodka. A little bit of fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. Now take that, shake that up, put a little ice in your glass. Put a little of the mixture down there. usually call that a Greyhound, but we are gonna put just a bit. I like a mandarin orange seltzer. Always make sure when you're opening seltzer, I see somebody times people just open it and it goes everywhere. So crack it and then seal it again. Wait till all those bu bubbles are gone. Top it with a little bit of a seltzer. Take a fresh lime. Oh, that is a good, good mixed drink, especially with all this being fried and everything, that grapefruit is gonna cut through it. So, I have my butter, it's brown just a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of onions. A little corn, fresh off the cob, really, really good. Nice and fresh as well. Some lima beans. I'm just gonna let that saute a little bit. I wanna get those onions just a little, little soft. Kind of break up that corn just a little bit. Little salt, 
a little fresh, fresh cracked pepper. I'm going to put some crab meat in there. This is when I add just a little bit more butter. No one said this dish is really, really that healthy. But you're going to have a lot of fresh vegetables, so I think you can take a little bit of fat with that. Not a problem. You just want to heat things straight through. You don't want to cook it to death, and you definitely want to just kind of heat that crab up a little bit with fresh, um, with these fresh vegetables, butter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our fried green tomato. A little bit of our relish. Another stack of fried green tomato. A little more relish. I'm going to go high on this one. Another stack. And then another stack. Top it with that. There you go. You could take a little bit of that basil that we had before. And garnish that. Maybe a nice lemon. Top of that. And there you have it. You have a nice fried green tomato with a crab corn and lima bean succotash. So these are some things sometimes it falls over and you just straighten it back out but these are some things that you could make fresh out of your garden with these blueberries we could do a nice blueberry pie something like that but with this show i just wanted to show you fresh from the garden straight onto the table and i guarantee that your guests are really going to enjoy it i really hope you enjoyed this episode i hope you learned a lot please stay tuned for some more fun exciting episodes